There's been some really big developments over the past couple of days in the AH and JD situation that I want to go over because this is really crazy stuff, man, that I think really gives him a good chance at that appeal over in England. And I want to go over why, because this is some, I wish they had had this when everything was going down over the summer. I really do, because this probably would have been a game changer. I'm going to go over why. We've got to start here, though. So this is from a while. This is from 2016. This is when all of the divorce was going down and they were arguing over, you know, I'm sure what was a very expensive divorce. Uh, the point that I want to make here is that she pledged to give away all of the money to two charities. One of them was a children's hospital. A few million dollars. That's what she was going. That's what she was going to give away. Well, it turns out that that's not the case. So there's some exclusive stuff at the Daily Mail that's just dropped, and it's really damning to her. This is this is really. I don't know how she's going to explain this away, because in the trial over the summer, one of the things that the judge said was that he thought that Johnny Depp's defense calling A.H. a gold digger was ludicrous. She gave gave all that money away. She gave it all away. She's not a a gold digger. She she gave all that money away, and children, children were saved, and the day was saved. He said it was ludicrous. Well, it turns out it wasn't so ludicrous because... Johnny Depp's lawyer is bringing the receipts. So let's go over this. Johnny Depp has accused Amber Heard of pocketing $7 million divorce settlement and repeatedly lying about giving it to all, giving it all to charity. As letter shows, LA Children's Hospital asking if she planned to honor her pledge. Johnny Depp is accusing Amber Heard of pocketing the $7 million settlement from their 2016 divorce and repeatedly lying and giving it all to charity. Heard 34 vowed to split the massive payment between two charities, but Depp's lawyers believe it was a sham. His team spent the past year chasing the Children's Hospital Los Angeles and American Civil Liberties Union to find out how much they actually received from the actress. The ACLU has so far refused to cooperate cooperate with multiple subpoenas, but documents produced by the hospital and and seen exclusively by DailyMail.com, suggest it only received $100,000, way short of the $3.5 million gift. Bosses became concerned and wrote to Heard in June of 2019 to ask if the pledge will not be fulfilled. Depp's lawyers claim the correspondence is the smoking gun that proves Heard was lying when she boasted about the giveaway. Oh, big surprise there that she's making stuff up. Heard's attorney said she has already been responsible for seven figures in donations to charitable causes and intends to continue to contribute and eventually fulfill her pledge. Years later, huh? Why wouldn't you just do it all at once? Maybe there's a there's a tax reason for that. I don't know. I, I'm not rich, so I, I don't know how these I don't know how these things work. I usually give small donations to stuff, but check this out. So here's the smoking gun. And this is the big deal because we actually have the check now. I know that this stuff was kind of going around before, but the difference between now and, you know, covering this earlier is this check didn't exist. It it exists now. So these are the big, these are the big smoking guns right here. This is from 2016. Here's the letter. It says, here's a check for the amount of 100,000. And we will eventually honor the 3500000 pledged gift. And then they have the check right here. Pay only $100,000. And then here's from 2019 saying, uh, yo, uh, do you plan on fulfilling that promise, A.H.? You're going to come back and you're going to come back and give us the rest of that money you said that you uh, promised us here? Uh, dear Miss Heard, I am following up in the course on the correspondence that Children's Hospital Los Angeles Foundation received on August 26th, uh, which CHLA was notified by Edward White, 
Edward White and Company that a $3.5 million pledged gift had been made in your honor. In the correspondence, see enclosure, it states the first of multiple scheduled installments to honor the full amount of Miss Hurd's $3,500,000 pledged gift. Since the first installment, CHLA has not received further installments. I'm inquiring if you have full now if you have knowledge if CHLA should expect further installments on your behalf or if the pledge will not be fulfilled. I appreciate any insights on this matter and can be reached at via direct line at of course those are blocked out. And as you can see here signed by the associate senior vice president of the CHLAF. So this is actually a really big reveal, and I want to go over why. They actually have it right here in this article. They say, giving evidence in a witness statement dated February 26, 2020, Heard stated, I remained financially independent from him, Depp, the whole time we were together, and the entire amount of my divorce settlement was donated to charity. She lied to the judge. Uh, judge Andrew Nickel cited the gesture while deciding the case in the son's favor, writing, her donation of the $7 million to charity is hardly the act one would expect of a gold digger. Dailymail.com has learned Depp's team will seize upon the judge's remarks in their efforts to appeal the London verdict, which left Depp's reputation and career in tatters. This is a very big win for them. And, I expect like showing this will probably get that appeal that they want. And I think that's a good thing where it goes from there. I'm not sure. I do know that a lot of stuff came out from that trial over the summer or was it the fall when we were covering that? I can't remember if we were talking about this in July or was it August? I know we waited a long time for the decision. I'm trying to remember when all this was going on, but either way, uh, this is a big deal and this could bounce back and get him in that appeal. And hopefully, you know, a better outcome compared to the last time. So we'll see what happens. I think that his chances here are very good, especially with this, because she was really pushing this as a way that, you know, hey, she never wanted his money. She wasn't using him to better herself, to push herself up career wise, to get millions of dollars. You know, I was giving all that money away. I, I didn't want that money. It turns out that was a lie. She kept that money. Kept that money. She was buying nice dresses like this, you know? Out there buying a couple more of these $100,000 dresses. I, I assure you they're that expensive. And she was lying in her closet while children were hurting because she promised them that money and they're following up. So these are really big smoking guns for their case. And I really do wonder what's going to happen with that appeal now. I... I expect him to get it because this is kind of a big deal. So we'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to what's going on now. And, uh, you know, there's still the Virginia trial coming up. We'll see what happens there. But this is uh, this is some good news. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you will, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you still subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.